good morning fellow nigerians um, i've been very down since on on the first of march march first of march the, the day the world comes to an end to the end of time i mean if you ask me first of march it's going to be a day to remember First of March is going to even remain in our history as a dark day. First of March, the world as a whole is going to remember Nigeria. For, for nothing but I, I don't know the adjective to the adjective to qualify I don't want to say all of my the world is going to remember Nigeria as a day of as a dark day or something there yeah. because First of March was a day that Nigerians, both home and in diaspora, were down. You know the reason, I know the reason. I mean, to me, if you ask me, the black man doesn't understand what leadership is. And that's why the black man sees leadership as opportunity to amass wealth, to enrich himself and his family. Why? Because he doesn't understand what leadership is. I'm not saying I'm not a black man, there's my skin tone that is different. Leadership is such a very important something. So, God created, for example, God created Moses. To lead his people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. So, if someone could be created by God for such a purpose, then you should know that leadership is not a joke. It's not something you toy with. It's not something you should take. So, it's, I mean, leader is leadership itself is mysterious. It's not as common as you think. It is uh, as common as you see, it, uh, as you see, as you hear the word leader or leadership. It's not a joke. It's not something you just. But unfortunately, unfortunately, here we are, Nigerians, the black race, sees leadership as opportunity to enrich themselves. Themselves, not a leader lead. Even the Bible says, a God said. God said, see, let's reason together. Do this and that, do that and that. Oh, come, let's reason together. That's a leader. Leader. Good leaders don't force themselves on the people. Good leaders don't force themselves on the people. Good leaders. You lobby for for you lobby to lead people. You don't force people to lead them. I mean, you don't force people to lead them. You don't you don't take it a do or die affair to lead people. You don't say it's my right to lead people. So you apply for it. If the people accept you or they buy your ideology or they they are convinced that you can lead them, then they will give you the room, the pathway to lead them. If you know for yourself, 
on the people on your people you are not your people of course sorry i'm so sorry for that you are not your people because you can't replace yourself on your people you force yourself on the people i mean it's not a force to lead people people should voluntarily say oh we want you to lead us if the spirit of i know 95 percent of nigerians were down those who know what they are doing those who are no sentiments those who are not religious those who are not tribalistic those who are not self-centered 95 percent of nigerians were down if 95 even 60 percent that tells you that that tells you the even if it were 60 percent you know what that means now i'm telling you i will tell you Categorically, that ninety-five percent of Nigerians were down on March rest, so, which means people are forcing themselves on us. But there's a God in heaven who sees everything. Hey, if you are there, you're saying, "Ah, why would the the the, the prophecy are flying around? The people are saying that some men of God are saying spiritualists are talking and such as just." I believe in the things of the spirit. I'm not joking. God sees my heart. I believe the things of the Spirit so much. If someone was pronounced or is declared whatsoever, and and people say like, ah, why? I just know that I, I ordered and look okay, at what you're giving me. It's a shame. But it's a shame that Nigeria, do you, you are putting me, not 200 million people at stake now. You are putting millions, millions, hundreds of millions of people at stake. Why? Because the, the rest of Africans are looking up to Nigeria. Nigeria is the first one, Nigeria is the big brother of Africa. Want to jeopardize the lives of the entire continent? No, Allah. No, Allah. But if you know, if you are sentiment, you are tribalistic. Like, like in this twenty-first century, why would someone be tribalistic? Why would you be religious about? Um, is our person? Is our religion? Is our religion? A loaf of bread, if a loaf of bread were 500, is now 1,000. The Muslims don't buy the same 500, nor the Christians, nor the people from the East, or the West, or the South, or the Middle Belt. Since it's now 1,000, everybody buys it for 1,000. The portals you see on our road. Are not meant for only the Christians alone, not the Muslims alone, not the pagans alone, not the people from the west or the south, east, north, or wherever alone. It's meant for everybody and there for everybody. The insecurities are meant for everybody. So come on. Come on. What was the answer of fanatism, tribalism, ethnicity, and all of this? So there's no need. Neither of these people benefit more so they are this or they are here. No. So it, it drops off, it drops on everybody, every one of us. So there's no need if you ask me. But it's a day to remain on my chest. No worry, shall we go to the heaven? The Bible says, He who keeps his rain, neither sleep nor slumber. He did heaven. So nobody will tell you, say, Jesus knows the world, and we God knows the world. God exists. If God does exist. Cheer up if you are in Nigeria, home and abroad. If you are an African, cheer up. Africa will see the light of the day. At the end of the day. By God's grace. God bless you guys. God bless you. I have been down. I woke up very down. I just have to, you know. Um, kudos to the young people, the, the, the Nigerians. Who are who are spoken? Who are who went out there to vote? Should be election is next week again. Hmm? Election is coming on the eleventh again. 
we'll still go out to vote. We'll, we'll still vote. We still vote. We are we are resilient in, in, in nature. We have the tenacity. We have this. I mean, we'll be we'll be, we'll be strong people. Great people we are as a people, as a country, as citizens of Nigeria. We are great, we are powerful. We have zeal, we have passion, we, we have will. We, 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 we exhibited our will in March, uh, um, February 5th, 25th. We exhibited our will, and we exhibit it again. On the twenty fifth, on the on the eleventh of March, we we exhibit our as it again. But you wait the under rate, underestimate the will of the people. Kudos to you, wise one. Kudos to you. Keep undermining, underrating, underestimating the will of the people. Kudos to you. Yeah, you're all done. <laughs>